Baron von Ungern Sternberg, one of the most notorious figures of the Russian Civil War of 1917-22, was born in 1886 to an aristocratic German family who had settled on the Baltic coast in what is now Estonia during the Middle Ages. The Bloody Baron, as he would later become known, was a staunch monarchist and despite the intense pride he felt in his German heritage, he enlisted in the Russian army in 1905 when the Russian people rose up in revolt against the monarchy. Ungern stayed in the army after the revolution was put down, being stationed in eastern Siberia with the 1st Amursky Cossack Regiment. Over the next decade, he became enthralled with the nomadic lifestyle of the Asian steppe peoples, such as the Mongols and the Buryats, who he saw as a means to saving the monarchies of Europe. During the First World War, Ungern established himself firmly as an able-bodied military commander, developing a reputation as a man with no fear of death, happy to lead seemingly suicidal cavalry charges towards the enemy. When Russia again erupted into revolution in 1917, Ungern was entrusted by the Loyalist White Army with recruiting an army of nomadic steppe warriors who would fight alongside more regular Russian soldiers to fight the Bolshevik Reds in the east. Ungern became increasingly fascinated by Eastern philosophy during this period and further developed a reputation as a bloodthirsty, sadistic leader who would torture and kill his enemies, unarmed civilians and his own men alike without hesitation. During this time, the Chinese used Russia's weakness as an opportunity to end Outer Mongolia's autonomy by annexing it into their own state. Ungern, ever obsessed with monarchism, saw this as an opportunity in itself and instigated a plan to put the deposed Bogd Khan back on the throne of Mongolia, with himself wielding the real power and with the long-term intention of using his Mongolian allies to restore the monarchy in Russia. The Bolsheviks, however, had begun infiltrating Mongolia as early as 1917 and by 1921, having secured most of Russia, eventually managed to capture Ungern and execute him. By the time of his death, Ungern had become so deranged and psychotic that he was universally feared by those around him. The Mongols saw him as the incarnation of the god of war, whilst others were convinced that he had attained secret powers through the occult. Still an incredibly mysterious character to this day, the Bloody Baron's life remains as complex as the time that he lived in.